Hit it. Woo! <laughs> hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Idaho City. Idaho. <laughs> what am I doing here? I'm here to see my new welder, David. And he's going to build a platform to fit on the back of Miss Gypsy for the mini split AC to sit outside. He's already got the platform started. All right, I'll come back when you get further along, David. I'm going to grab me a biscuit and some coffee. Y'all don't have biscuits up here. I'm going to grab some coffee and... Yeah, they probably do got biscuits and gravy over there. I would That's... imagine. What's well, a good thing. I'm, I'm losing way too much weight. Some Later biscuits and gravy is just what I need. It used to be on the menu, so. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Letting the babies out to do their business. Got a little stream running right here beside the road. They're Yorkies? <laughs> that's the boss, that's Martini. The little one there, it's Baby May Mays. And, uh, tuck, tuck, tuck. That's a big one. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Are these uh, puppies? Are they all related? They're, they're all grown. Nobody's related. Tucker There's was given to me. Sucker. This is Sucker? Tucker. Tucker. Yep. Well, that's my girlfriend's last name. <laughs> and you got Martini and yep. Rossi? Yeah, that would be a good one. But well, that's uh, Baby May May. Baby May May. Okay. And yeah. how do you tell those two apart? <laughs> uh, it takes a while. Baby May May, she's tall and skinny and prissy. Martini's uh, muscular and short, and stout. What's the one that's hopping around? That's Martini. Okay. <laughs> so I'm here, at, I'm here at Dave's welding shop, and he's got a, a 56, I believe. 55. 55 GMC. They call them Apaches. No, that's a Chevy. It's a, it's a GMC 150. Is but, what it is. That but a 150 a, with three quarter ton axles. That was a one 100 was a half ton. A 150 was a three quarter ton back in them days. I'm a little so fuzzy on the GMC. A, this is a 150. Gosh, what a beauty! And the, it's, it used to be the Loman mail truck when it was bought new. So this is it's it's, it's home. Yeah, so it used to run from Loman to Boise, pick up the mail, go back to Loman, deliver the mail, and probably do that every two or three days, I would suppose. You know, no one restores the three-quarter tons. Well, my friend had but, bought but, this back in 1984. But they should. He had it way before that, though, I guess. And he was... Uh, Look at all those lug nuts. Woo! He was a welding foreman at Morrison Knutes and the locomotive shop in Boise that where we rebuilt locomotives. Yeah, and he had this painted with locomotive paint, and he had all the brakes done. So the recent, the most recent paint is 1984 on there. No kidding. And then it sat outside. It blew the transmission. Sat outside until two years ago, and I bought it because he passed away and left it to his son, and his son wasn't going to do anything with it. You mind if I look inside? No. Yeah. Uh, 350? Yes. Oh, well, it's actually a 3D, 383 stroke. Oh, oh, you've played with it. Well, I had my friend that builds race car motors in Boise. He did it. Mulder Engineering in Boise, Idaho. What a truck. What a truck. <laughs> is the engine as pretty as the body? Well, no, because the engine bay isn't done yet. I might do that. 
this winter if I pull the motor. I had a 54 Bel Air Chevrolet four-door. I built the grill. And this reminds me of the grill. Oh, oh, we're, we're a little custom right here. This is what happens when a welder has a hot rod. Well, I didn't like to see that big open hole there, so it's hell on the birds that go into my grill. <laughs> Look at those teardrops. That's not called a teardrop, it's called an eyebrow. There you go. I used to do paint and body work a long time ago. Oh, you had to put in some braces or is that factory? Factory. I decided to leave them. I think that was a great cool. idea. So you done tuned up this 350. You had to chrome the, you had that chrome that alternator, didn't you? It's a 350 with a 400 crank and rods, and it's all uh, clearanced inside. And the heads are the old uh, double hump heads with uh, two, 202 uh, intake valves. So tell me, what does a welder use for exhaust? I had the exhaust done in Boise at Boise Muffler. Really, you didn't do it with Flowmasters? No, because I don't have a bender. You use a four, you use Flowmaster 40s. They're my favorite. I don't know which ones they put in there. He won. He won. He wanted to know if I wanted it loud or quiet, and I said somewhere in between. So they put on whatever that is. It might be a turbo. It's two and a half exhaust all the way. Ooh. I love an antique truck, car, anything. But I got a sweet spot for the old trucks. I think my favorite, David, are the old van type uh, uh, haulers. I can't, I'm, I'm having a brain, brain fart. I bet you nickel he built that exhaust, that uh, bumper though. Y'all enjoy that? Do y'all like it when I find old cars? I don't have to ask you, I already know. Look at that big back window. Now the 56 has rolled a little bit more, didn't they? On the back window? I think pretty much the cab is pretty much the same. He said now, the, the cab's the same. The difference was a grill. You remember when we all used to go down the road and we had the gas tank right behind our seat <laughs> instead of under the truck? How cool is that? David just opened up his uh, enclosed storage container. Storage container. Uh huh. Yeah, you better keep her under lock and key. <laughs> My father bought that in 1969. Been in the family ever since. Is it a? Is it what I'm thinking it is? Totally original, 1969 Mach One. It is a Mach. Yeah, totally original. Original paint, motor, transmission, interior, carpet. And it's all in pretty damn good condition. David, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't do that. Woo! You giving me goosebumps. Well, it doesn't get driven very much because it is original and I'm scared somebody's going to plow into me and uh, leave me high and dry. So. Beautiful, beautiful. It stays in here a lot. My girlfriend used to have a, 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 a mock one and I, I drove it occasionally a long, long time ago. She's still your girlfriend? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't think I was the only one driving the car. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> well, we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Cleveland? Windsor. Windsor. Woo! Thank you for showing me your, your baby. And my old Harley back there, too. That's a... Hell, I can't walk through here. I might get all the buttons away from your car. I'll rub up against the side of the... Just don't hit it with your belt buckle. I'm sure your belly's nice and soft. And round. It's like a big old fluffy pillow cushion. Put some polishing powder down there. My, my, my. What a complete surprise.
Mm -mm -mm. Now that's a treat. That's a treat. <laughs> you never know what? You never know what you're going to see on the Camper Van Kevin show. <laughs> Woo! I want to thank all the people that sent me the warnings about the toxic algae killing the dogs. And that I need to keep Tucker out of the water, the babies out of the water. I got all your messages. Appreciate you guys caring so much. Okay, I have backed into David's shop. He's going to attach the new platform. We had to be real careful back up next to that pretty red truck. And we're going to tack that to the tops, and then I'm going to take those off and pull it out, weld it. Put it back on and then weld that. Okay. And we'll primer it at the same time because you're not going to be able to get behind there to paint it. You have any red oxide? Yeah. Good. So I'm going to let David work for a minute and he asked me to come out and help him hold stuff up while he tacks it to the bumper. But until then, I've had some people send me some stuff in the mail. Uh, I ask people really not to send me anything because. I don't want to fill up my RV. I filled up the van. Uh, but people still do. And, and, and honestly, it's, it's nice. It, it, it's nice. And I, I kind of enjoy it. So I, I, I kind of send mi mixed signals because I, have, I feel mixed signals. I like it and then I kind of worry about it. But uh, Miss Pam King from the United Kingdom and her daughter Rose, they were out walking the other day on a trail and says well me and my daughter love watching your YouTube and watching what Tucker Martini and baby may may get to do get up to love the new RV we were walking through our nature walk uh, woods and we found these toys on our walk and we thought they would look nice in your window top with Snoopy and uh, Yoshi and that green goblin so we clean them up and we ho we're hopeful you will get them. Best wishes. Um, I'm going to show them to you. So here are my little trinkets that I've been finding at campsites. And I've started a collection. Uh, I found a Snoopy first in Cottonwood. Uh, Yoshi at Government Wash in Nevada. Um, I forget the name of the place I found this guy. Um, I I've, got I've got it in one of my videos. But uh, th these are for th things that I find at campsites and on the road. So it's real nice that she sent me her things. And it was a very, very kind thought. I think that's from that uh, animated video, Dogs or something like that. We got a little horse. We got a meow meow, I mean a cat. Um, and she sent these to me all the way from the United Kingdom. Um, very nice gifts. But I think what I'm going to do, um, Miss Pam and uh, Little Miss Rose, I believe that I may, I may give them away to a, a child here, or I may set them 
at a campsite for someone to find. Uh, maybe I'll try to find a way to put my website or Facebook or something. That's funny. Uh, on them, so when people find them, maybe I'll take a little piece of wire and, and a note, or put them in a, a baggie with a note, and people can uh, keep them, or they can pass them on, sort of like a little grab bag or something. But I want to thank you for the thought. It was very, very kind and thoughtful. Thank you. I'm not going to go through the other mail with you. It's too much, too much stuff. Uh, I know some of this stuff is a month and a half old, so if you send me stuff, it's very, very slow. It goes to my uh, mail forwarding service, and then they, they, if it looks important, like official or, you know, my credit cards or anything, like that, they open it up and they call me. But stuff that's not, we just kind of set it back, and and whenever I get to a place, and they mail me everything, and that's when I get it. So if you send me something, it's going to be slow. Okay, so just to clarify, my little shelf up there is for things that I find at the campsite and, and, and memories that, that I find. But it, it was it was that was a, a very nice thought. Thank you. He's getting it put on. I like this guy. I like him a lot. That's his truck and camper right there. He's an RVer. Here's the back of David's rig. I see he likes stickers. I may try to see if he wants one of ours. I don't think he's much into YouTube. It'd be a nice place to put it. Of course. Just remember when you put on a Camper Van Kevin sticker on your RV, <laughs> the value drops in half just like that. <laughs> Tucker, you're not talking much today. Nothing to say? Nothing? All right. You're not gonna catch grief over that. Okay, David's got it welded on. He welded it onto the bumper braces, and I've got my zero gravity chair sitting here. Probably take a a bungee and wrap it around. Well, this one ain't long enough, but something like that. Uh huh. Or drill a hole. It's up to you. Can't go wrong either way. Nope. Nice and sturdy. Thank you, David. It's a good job. Okay. Well, Dave's got it welded on. Everybody wants always wants to know the prices of what I've got done. $285. I think that's reasonable, fair, customary. This is what I expected. I had a budget between 250 and 300 for it. Uh, I added some extra stuff with the chair and he also painted it, primed it with the uh, red oxide Rust-Oleum spray primer. So I think that was reasonable and he did, good, did a good job. So Mr. David, before I go, I'd like to uh, I saw all the stickers on the back of your RV. I, uh, I have stickers for my channel. Uh, I don't think he's he's watches YouTube or knows anything about the RV community on there, but I'm gonna give him a Camper Van Kevin sticker to put on his RV. But, but I have to warn you, as soon as you put it on, it drops half its value. Just like that. <laughs> well, I ain't planning on selling it. <laughs> good deal. I got a sticker for you too. All right, thank you for the good job. Okay, everyone, well, I'm going to end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.
Oh yeah, I have to ask him. I hadn't talked to him about it, but if I don't hear that truck run, I'll regret it from now on. So maybe if I ask, say pretty please, he'll crank it up and we can hear it. I think he's gonna do it. Hit it. <laughs>